This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Yay. I am ready for the weekend, ready for Easter. May no, I'm not actually ready for Easter. I'm not ready for Easter yet either, but um, no, I am ready for the nice weather. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, so today's still kind of, I guess it's cool, it's windy, but we're talking 70s mm -hmm. for the weekend. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put your winter coat over your Easter dress on Sunday? Nope. I'm so excited for that. Know, Here's a look gosh. outside on our sky cam right now. It looks a little hazy on that shot, but oh my goodness, we're turning things around. It's April. I hope it stays like this. I know. Well, I think for the next couple of days into the next week, we're talking about maybe some rain, but still in the 60s. I don't mind that. It'll really nope. green things up. And with That's 70 good. for Easter, I feel like, uh, yeah, here's the, the weekend forecast, uh, meteorologist oh Lisa Green. Oh my Greens. gosh, look at Today, that. Today, 71, 72, and oh, I'm gonna be hopping around like that bunny on Sunday. And yes, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be outside the whole time and soaking up the rays. You come back with a, maybe you'll come back with a tan. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> then I'd look, you know, I, yeah, because I'm looking a little pale today. Oh, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm so excited. Um, like I said, I'm not really ready for Easter. I don't, I thought I was going to make the ham, but my dad said, nope, I already bought oh. the ham. So and it, my sister's hosting. So I'm always, already kind of, you know, off the hook a little bit. I have to make a couple of things, mm -hmm. you know, to bring like, you know, jello, which is not hard to make. Nope. Green bean casserole. I'm making green bean casserole as well. That's my kids' favorite. So we have to do that. And yeah, kinda we're traveling though. We're traveling this weekend, just a little, you know, hop, skip and a jump down to Southern Minnesota. But, um, might be even warmer there. I know. Sometimes because, it is. Because Redwood Falls, Minnesota is the hot spot of Minnesota. So whenever you're flying into Minneapolis or someplace like that, they always announce the weather and they'll announce, um, we're flying over Redwood Falls and it, the temperature is, uh, you know, the warmest. I never pay attention to the warmest place in uh, Minnesota because I always think about the coldest place. I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, you know, the yes, warmest. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good to it's, know. You know, anyway. It's a great place. So I'm excited actually to do that, to go home and, and see it because that's where I'm from. But we're going to see Dean's family so um, because they still live there. Okay, nice. <clears throat> I'll be in town, but nice. it's always nice to go back home. It is. No matter, you know, mm -hmm. how I old you are. I love my little town. Okay, so the important question, and uh, you put this poll up so for us. So important. The uh, favorite Easter candy. candy. We wanted to know what your favorite. Before we show everybody else's results, what is your favorite? Reese's. Peanut butter cup? Reese's peanut butter Or peanut eggs. butter eggs. Especially the eggs because they're really, I mean, they're big, right? They're thick. They're, mm. Mm. Why do they taste so better when it's butter. the shape of an egg versus just the regular round cup? But they I do. Know. Well, I like those too, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. Proportion. Our director is saying, yeah, the proportion. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, that's a good Makes point. Makes total sense. It does. Although, and I always, uh, the, the girls always get chocolate bunnies from the Easter bunny, and I always let them eat them for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I like to dip my Easter bunny in peanut butter. So we'll see then you're getting the, the same, same thing. It's the same thing. Okay. So we put this poll up. Uh, we can show you uh, what our North Dakota Today and Valley News Live viewers think for their favorites. No shocker there. Nope. there More than 42% say the Reese's peanut butter eggs. Uh, I so guess we I'm are in good, normal. good company there. I was surprised by what came in at number two. I was too. Jelly beans at 21%. Jelly beans. Maybe it's not like it's your favorite, but you just have them. I feel like I like to have them because they look Eastery. Yeah. On the tables I and in cup. And they're always in the Easter eggs, you know, yep. for whatever reason. It's kind of good to have something kind of fruity flavored at that mm -hmm. point, you know, because they mix it up. It you is. have a lot of chocolate. You need mm -hmm. a little bit of. You need some fruity flavors. It's the fruit that you're getting in your. Yeah, it's, you it's know. good for you, I think. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. You need that vitamin C. Uh, malted milk balls were at uh, about 10%. 10%. And also peeps. This one I'm surprised by. Also at I'm 10%. I'm surprised anybody even picked that. You know what? Yesterday, I had to make an emergency trip to the grocery store for some peeps. You did? For Bailey. No, it was for my, my eight-year-old. She's like, I just want peeps, mom. And and I said, okay, well, I will be the mom of the day, <laughs> not of the year. And we went and bought peeps. There were okay. lots of them there. Cause, yeah, I don't know who buys them. I know. I just have never really gotten into them. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not a marshmallow fan, I guess. Maybe that's why. I know people hate uh, peeps and for Halloween candy corn. They just, but I will eat anything. I oh, I like candy corn. Equal opportunity candy eater. So. Yeah, right. And then last, or, well, I guess this wasn't last, but Cadbury eggs. Now, I was kind of surprised by this one being so low at I 5%. I agree. I love, you know, anytime I go to the gas station or, and, and they're sitting right there or at the grocery store, I always buy one. 
I probably eat more Cadbury eggs than I do the peanut butter <coughs> eggs. Excuse me. Even though I like the peanut butter eggs better. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and 5%, that giant hollow chocolate bunny. Very specific on that. I know. I had to put hollow. Hollow. That's Why? it. Yeah. Because it, if it's filled it with peanut hollow. butter or... But sometimes it's not they're filled, filled with anything. With, sometimes there are ones filled with stuff. Or if it's <coughs> hollow, then you can put milk in it and then drink the milk right out of it. You don't do that? I thought everyone did that. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me like, that's very weird. That's maybe very weird. Okay. That was kind of weird. You should try it, though. Oh, I love this. Uh, well, okay, this yesterday, April Fool's, I was so worried someone was going to try to trick me. I don't know why I was scared about Nobody that. I thought you either. were going to put, you know, Heidi said she puts, you said you haven't done it, but I feel like you have put a saran, saran wrap, wrap over the toilet. I'm not. When I have to <clears> go <throat> tinkle, I go really run in there. So I was like, no, <laughs> someone's going to do that to me, and I won't even look. You were like, mm. sticking my, that's gross. <laughs> All right, well, Grand Forks Police Department, the goat. This was great. I love this. <clears throat> so apparently, uh, they uh, now have a, you know, who needs a police canine when you can have a police goat? Right. Uh, they posted a series of uh, pictures and videos on their Twitter and Facebook, <laughs> introducing the community to this. its dual purpose police goat. Yes. And we don't have the music turned up, but they actually are playing that bad guys. Oh my gosh. Or bad boys. It is bad hilarious. boys. Bad yes. boys. Yeah. Good stuff. It I wish was this, so cute. I wish this wasn't an April Fool's joke. I wish they actually I had a, a goat. They named him Brandon, and uh, apparently they say he's quite the sniffer. <laughs> 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 I know it's the little things that make me laugh, but I have uh, oh been watching gosh. those videos over that and over. So okay, so let's keep the, uh, I got a bad joke for you. Look this up. Oh, you probably saw the answer. Oh, I what do you call an outlaw goat? An outlaw goat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Billy the Kid. Oh, that's uh, cute. <laughs> so there's that's kids home kid, today. Well, hopefully the kid kids joke. like that one. That was a kid joke. That was a kid joke. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a great show planned we for do. you today. We have Pancake Dad yes. in the studio. He's I, prepping already. We don't know yet what he's going to make, but uh, some gosh, great pancake this is art. Be cool. Uh, but next, we are talking. I'm very excited about this. Abby Grimaldi is going to join Yay. us. Grand Forks native just released a new, Her new song. Pop, Christian pop single today. We're going to hear Big it. Funk. Stay with Exciting. us. That's next.